Hi there. I don't know whether you can see out of the window the towers of Wells Cathedral. Yeah, I'm a little outside my comfort zone. I'm actually in the Mayor's Parlour uh, in Wells, the city of Wells. And OK, it's not Bath, but as I just said to Mr Mayor, who's disappeared for the moment, uh, we do share a bishop after all, Bishop of Bath and Wells. If you're a regular, you'll know that I have been covering the journey of the mayor, Tanis Pullen. She likes to be known as Mr. Mayor, in organising charity events to raise money involving the use of wedding dresses uh, that brides may have put away in wardrobes or in under tissue paper in boxes asking them to bring them out and redecorate them as ball gowns. This really is Tannis transformations. And very shortly when she comes back, uh, we'll find out how things are going. She's got a big fashion show this weekend, which I can't attend because I've got to go to a dear friend's birthday party. So let's see what we can find out. So where are we going now? We're going to the museum. Right. And we've just been in Kitty Banks and you've seen everything in Kitty Banks. There's an exhibition there. Then we're going to the museum, which there is an exhibition there as well. And then when those exhibitions are finished, they go to into the cathedral. Uh, the cathedral? You mean this building yes, here? in the big, it's in the undercroft. So it's going to be amazing. You've got a big do there coming off. July. So July the 11th, we've got a big, the, the catwalk we're doing is purely for, the preview is to, to tomorrow, um, Saturday. Yeah. But then we've got the 11th of July is in the cathedral. It's going to be spectacular. Dresses, dresses, and more dresses. Well, we've walked across Cathedral Green. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how much uh, the folks at home actually heard from us walking across College Green. Uh, be a cathedral Green, I think I'm in Bristol. It's the cold, it's got in my head. Actually, I knocked my head, didn't you I? You did. You bumped your head I, in Kitty Banks because there's an exhibition in Kitty Banks. Yes. And it's got quite a low ceiling in the window. So. And, and straight away, I don't see the low ceiling and, and bang my head. And then crossing Cathedral Green, I run over into a pavement. the verge. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're actually upstairs in Wells Museum. It is, it's uh, beautiful. Tannis has brought me here uh, to show me the rest of uh, the collection. I'm really pleased to hear that the, the preview this weekend has sold out. Yes. And it, it's a credit to what you've done. Uh, but you're very anxious to say it's something you've done. You were certainly not alone. Apart from the people that actually transformed all these wedding dresses, a lot of other people have been helping you, am they I right? Have. I think we've had about a thousand people involved. I was wanting 400, but it's way exceeded 400. We've got this kaleidoscope of colour. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got um, a a massive great big train which we made for the British Heart Foundation. Hundreds of people have made the poppies on this train. 200 hours of work just in this dress alone with people. And the lady who actually made these poppies, I hadn't even met until a month ago because she lives in London. And then we- that, That's a point to make, Tannis, that the people involved haven't just come from Wells by any means, no, have they? No, our local communities have all come together as well. We've had dresses made as far away as Africa. We've had Shepton Street, Glastonbury. Everybody has got together to make dresses in Cheddar, Walton. It's The news has got out, and I think it's something that could actually go national. If people got involved in making, transferring, transforming wedding dresses into ball gowns, this could be massive because we've got a big, big thing in the cathedral, which is going to be a catwalk of, I would love to get, I've got 60 dresses, I'd like to get 100. And I think it would be just incredible. If you see, you can live stream on Tannis' Transformations, the catwalk that's on Saturday night. Also look on my Facebook page and my Instagram because both of them are 
Tannis's transformations, the mayor's new clothes. So uh, people might be too late in, in providing dresses for the weekend preview, but there's plenty of time for them to have a go and supply dresses for the big show in Wells Cathedral in July. That's what you want to get That's across. That's what I want to get across, that this is the beginning. This is a preview of people who have got together, who are my friends, who are people who I've never met before, but they've just all come together and it's wonderful and it's all for Heads Up and Whiz Kids. Yeah, that's the two charities you're supporting and how much are you hoping to raise? I'll cross my fingers. Uh, now, there's a thing. So if I raise £150,000, I have already said, because I'm very aware that homelessness is, is a real thing and we're only just two paychecks away from that. So I've said that I would sleep in Penniless Porch for a week if I raise £150,000. So your thing is now is to try and make me do that because there are a lot of people out there who would love to see me sleeping rough. It's, it's a, a fabulous address to have your mail delivered, care of penniless porch, yeah. wells. Yeah, well, it's um, even better in the, in the parlour, in the town hall, because I don't know if I said, I'm 649th mayor of Wells. How crazy is that? But you'll have given up the, the role come July. Yes, July. I, I stop in, in um, May. Yeah. And then, but we have never had two women mayors back to back. So ultimately... She is happy to get involved and, and join in with this as Who well. Who is going to be the next Jasmine one? Brown. Right. You've just seen her. Oh, we've that got, was, oh, I yes. Oh, so I would have she's a, a fantastic lady who has supported Wells like I have for many, many years as a councillor. Tannis, yeah, your, your public service and, and record uh, goes without saying. And as you say, this whole idea and events are to raise money for charity, but... It strikes me the other wonderful thing it's done is brought people together. We hear so much today about how there isn't a sense of community anymore. Um, yeah, as we say, it's not about the money, really. It's about, after lockdown in particular, people found that they didn't have a way of meeting up with everybody. They might stop and have a cup of coffee, but they didn't have anything to do whilst doing this. And this has given people a project that they could all work together. This dress here was made by the Cheddar Ladies and it's to do with bees. And if you have a look underneath, it's all about structure and it's actually called scaffolding. It's quite well, you extraordinary. You can see it there, yeah, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one here is for dementia. And each one of these little flowers represents people with dementia because it's forget-me-nots. It's very beautiful. And this one here was made by the Croscombe ladies. Once again, beautiful. It's uh, lovely, beautiful colours. This one was made by the children at Castle Carey School. We're really hoping that the King might come. So we would like to get a collection of all the schools in the area making gold and purple dresses for the King's first year. Have you approached the palace and invited him? Well, I think it might be something if I've got to get the schools making the dresses first, but we would definitely like him to come to visit Wells. It'd be incredible. And Camilla, of course. Maybe, <laughs> maybe she'd volunteer to transform her wedding dress wow can you i think that might be in a museum but the um yeah the they are beautiful i mean look at this this was made by a 13 year old girl bella and it's beautifully made and she's actually going to model it herself on saturday this one here this is the um walton ladies that's beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they've got a little Walton handbag Palace. and everything, look, with the Walton ladies on it. This one here is the bee dress. There is a lady <laughs> called Marlene who has literally been with me doing sewing, and Carol, they come to my parlour every Thursday and help me sew the dresses. Who, who she, is in the photograph? This is Marlene, and well, she's actually modelling the dress herself. <laughs> she's actually going to model it. So this one here... Where have you gone? Oh. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So this one's going to be modelled by Liz Neal, who is a friend of Alice, who's made this dress. 
She's a local artist. It's just extremely beautiful. And it was an artist who inspired you to do all of this, wasn't it? Was. It was. So Kirsty made the red dress, which is made with swatches of dark burgundy silk. And it's, they, she sends the material to ladies around the world and gentlemen. So she had 400 people involved in making this dress, but she's done it over a 14 year period. I had one year. Yeah. I thought I was going to make one dress and I've got 60, 60 dresses, 38 models all parading around in the town hall on Saturday night. As I said, it's going to be live streamed on Tannis's Transformations. This dress here is going to be made. This one here is going to be the Mad Hatter. We've got a whole scene from Alice in Wonderland where we have the Mad Hatter, Alice, the Cheshire Cat, flamingos and uh, the White Rabbit. It's going to be quite a weekend. Look at this one. This one's phenomenal. This one's the <laughs> Kraken or an octopus made by a girl who's 20. She's just incredible. Oh, I mean, that, look at this. Amazing detail. The and amazing the train detail. And it as goes well. and it goes around the back as wow. well. If you look here, she's got she's got the, the Kraken going around the back. This one was also made by Marlene. She's been quite industrious. Yeah. This one, because because it's heads up, uh, heads up have made several dresses. The charity I started heads up. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's a mental health charity that helps people who um, are in need and also does um, Alzheimer's and dementia. So the clients have actually made this and the little lights go on. So oh, the detail is quite yeah, amazing. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is one of the other dresses that they've made. And this is like about forget me nots. That's beautiful. Well, um, people are hopefully going to be excited enough uh, to go onto your website and check out the details for July and what's happening in the cathedral. Uh, and as you say, there is still These... plenty of time uh, to transform a wedding dress and let you have it. The final one, what is this one? So I'm going to go from here to here because oh, right. these okay. are both very important. Okay. These are actually representing suicide and anti-suicide and actually making people aware Every single one of these flowers on this dress is somebody who has gone because of suicide in Somerset. So at the end of the day, we really have to think that this is all about groups and looking after people and helping people in our community, whether they're homeless, whether they've got mental health issues, whatever it is, our job is to take care of the people where we live and make sure they're okay. Don't Time. always think about yourself. Tannis, and on that note, thank you very much indeed. Have a great weekend and hopefully see you in July. Yes, definitely.